Hello and welcome to Mastering Microsoft Word 2013. My name is Jason. I'll be your host as we go through all the functions and features of, of this very powerful word processing software. You know, Microsoft Word's been around for years, but in recent times has undergone a major facelift. Uh, the new interface of Word along with Excel and PowerPoint and the other Microsoft Office uh, products is very, very nice once you get used to it, but we have to you know, learn and break some of our old habits. So if you've used Word before, uh, this is going to look quite a bit different, but bear with me. We will take you through everything step by step so that you can really get maximum use out of your software. So in this lesson, what we're going to do is just get an overview of the user interface. We're going to just touch on the different ways in which things are laid out. And in subsequent lessons, we'll dive in a little more deeply with each lesson. So here we have just launched Microsoft Word, and this is the startup screen that you're presented with. On the left hand side, you have this blue area here, and these are your recent documents. So if you want to open something that you've been recently working on, you'll be able to click it directly in here. If there's another document you'd like to open, you've got a link here to do so. So these are sort of like just a quick way to open documents right when you launch Word. On the right hand side, you have a bunch of templates. And so here you can open a blank document, uh, you know, and there's several other templates. You can drag the scroll bar and look down here and you might see something that jumps right out at you that you can just launch, type in your information and then and go for it. Um, it also gives you a flavor for the uh, vast amount of uh, customization. You can make your documents look really, really slick. And we're going to get into a lot of that as we go farther into this course. So here's a quick listing of templates. You can also search online for templates. Uh, there are thousands of other templates available and so on. So when, whenever you're presented with a screen, what you need to really do is decide, do I want to use a blank document or open up a template? And most of the time you're going to uh, have a blank document. So let's go ahead and click that right now. When you do that, you're brought to a screen that's a little more familiar. It's, it's a blank piece of paper, so to speak. You can scroll up and down and you can see the extent of that sort of piece of paper here in front of you. And of course you can begin typing, you know, that's how word processors work. We'll learn all about how to format things and so on. I want to quickly go over the user interface. At the very top of the screen, right, this up here at the top is called the Quick Access Toolbar. And it's uh, just quick, quick functions that you will be using. So this is a save button, it's very similar to what you've done in the past with other programs. Uh, here you will click to undo, if you make a mistake you can click that to undo uh, things and this is you know repeat typing there's several things up here notice that uh, you have a button here customize if you click that and drop it down you can add additional things to your quick access toolbar for instance if you want a quick print button just click that guy and the quick print button will appear if you want the spelling and grammar uh, quick function there you can put it up there as well so you can add and remove things if you decide you don't want that quick print you can uh, discard it. Now we're going to talk more about the quick access toolbar later, but just keep in mind that you can add and remove much, much, uh, uh, many, many different types of features from up there. Uh, notice on the right hand side, we have a question mark, uh, which is basically going to be the help system. You can also press F1 uh, to get there. So when you click it, you're brought to the help system. You're, you can search, uh, you can go into the table of contents, you can drill down, figure out exactly what you need. Uh, Word has a very, very good help system that you can generally find what you're looking for. Uh, so what's going to happen is you'll learn how to use the software and you'll be very proficient with it, but eventually you'll need to look something up and that's where you will go. All right, and then you have the traditional close application and uh, you know maximize and minimize buttons. You can also sign in if you have a Microsoft account. This is uh, how you can uh, uh, utilize the cloud resources that Microsoft has in SkyDrive. If you'd like to save your data instead of locally, if you'd like to save it to SkyDrive, you'll need to be signed in. And the rest of the display we're going to go over in a little more detail later, but basically it is a ribbon interface. So instead of the drop down menus of the past, you have sort of a ribbon. So I can kind of go along and tap on these different tabs of the ribbon interface. And so I'm going to save a lot of talking about this for later, but just keep in mind most of your menus and all the things that you are traditionally used to dealing with 
in terms of past you know um, menus and past versions of Microsoft Word it's all replaced by this ribbon and that can cause a lot of people frustration if they've been very good at using Word for many years but trust me when you get to use this ribbon interface it's actually much much superior you'll find yourself finding things faster um, understanding how to use functions faster and more efficiently and in general it's just going to help you uh, out overall let me turn your attention to the bottom of the screen you have a status bar in blue at the bottom so we have it's telling us we're on page one of one if this document were ten pages long it would tell us uh, one of ten there are zero words right now if you start typing you'll see this number you know go up you'll start to see the the word count going up uh, here's a, a button for proofing errors and then on the right hand side you have something very very useful you have a zoom slider if you want to get closer or farther away uh, to your document you can do that and then over here are some quick ways in which to change the uh, kind of how the document looks to you right now we're in the print layout so you can kind of see the sheet of paper here um, but you also have a web layout which kind of expands it to be the whole screen and over here we have uh, what we call read mode which kind of maximizes it in a slightly different way usually when you're using word you're going to go to the print layout which would be the middle button that's sort of the default there so I'd like to close this section off by saying that Microsoft Word 2013 is extremely powerful the ribbon interface looks to be intimidating because everything's out in front of you but when you start using it you'll find that it's actually uh, much more powerful and much more user-friendly so don't be afraid of it uh, in the next section, I'll give you an overview of this ribbon interface in a little more detail. And of course, we'll be drilling down into the details of what all these little things mean as we begin to unlock the, uh, the power of Microsoft Word 2013.